Hello guys, I'm Ethan. And I'm Jacinta. And we are Trippy and Oz. So we've been on the road for six months now. We've had a great time so far. So today we thought we'd give you some of our statistics and answer the questions that you guys asked us on Instagram. Okay, let's start with the stats. Ooh. So distance traveled. We have traveled 27,094 kilometers so far. And that includes uh, part of South Australia, uh, Birdsville in Queensland, Northern Territory, and part of Western Australia. About half of Western Australia. Yeah. Fair bit. Our fuel total, are you ready for this one? Yes. $5,929.87 we have spent so far on fuel. Diesel used 3,994.89 litres. Campsites. We have stayed 87 nights in free camps, 45 nights with families and friends. Thanks, guys. Cheers, legends. <laughs> and we have paid for 52 nights, so that includes national parks, caravan parks, private camping. Our total spend per night on average is only $7.34, so that's <laughs> pretty good. That's pretty good. Our food average per week is $133, so that's reasonably good, I think. We eat pretty well too, so I don't think we're eating just two minute noodles like some of your workmates will think that, but <laughs> <laughs> we're good. We do eat good. Um, miscellaneous, so we have had 172 sunshine days and only six rainy days. So we're chasing the sun and it's working out well for us so far. Are you seeing our tents? They're getting there? Yeah, I know. I'm pretty proud of our tents. You are. <laughs> I am very proud of my tent. <laughs> uh, we have hiked 425.43 kilometers and we average just two showers a week. Our mum and dad's gonna hate us for that, but anyway, he's gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, I don't mind, I'm a boy, I don't care. <laughs> Our top spots so far on the trip includes Karajani National Park, Broome and the Dampier Peninsula, the Red Centre, uh, Kate Range National Park, and, Reef. Yep, and the Pilbara region. Yeah, we love the Pilbara. We do dirt. love the We have to wash our car all the time, but it's all right. It's good. Cool. So now we're getting to the questions. So question number one was by far the most popular question asked of us. And that is, how do you afford to travel on the road? And what is your biggest expense? Well, the answer quickly is a save hard, travel hard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pretty much. Um, so we budget $700 a week. Um, that includes our accommodation fuel costs. That includes our food, our experiences. We've had a few good experiences. We've been to Horizontal Falls, the Big Red Bash. Um, so that includes all of that. What that doesn't include is our alcohol bills. So we pay for our own alcohol out of our own bank accounts. That doesn't include our private health insurance or our Telstra bills. Correct. Um, and also your car servicing. Car service and all the odds and bods that I buy for myself, uh, including my games of golf or her expensive shampoos or <laughs> protein. <laughs> her protein, powder, custard, and <laughs> peanut butter sheets, a lot of. Um, if you see our stats on Instagram, it's actually ridiculous. I'm glad that doesn't come in our um, budget, but. It's a little bit odd the way we do it, but it works for us, and that's what we do. Yeah, yeah, it definitely works for us. So, so if you probably do the mass, it's probably nearly a thousand bucks a week, nearly. Yeah. Might be nine hundred ish, but that's we that's the way we do it. Yeah. So that will cover everything. Yes, we think it would. Yeah. Question number two is: What are you travelling in? Uh, two thousand twenty Ford FX4 Ranger. Uh, we have a Boss Aluminium Canopy and a Bush Company rooftop tent, which is magic. Question number three is, how old are you and what career did you have before you started travelling? 
So I'm 28 years of age and prior to travelling I used to manage two beautiful health and fitness centres in Broken Hill. I am 30 as we speak. I'm a mechanic by trade, not a very good one, nuts, bolts, hydraulic hose and that's about it. <laughs> um, yeah, here's what it is. Uh, question number four. What gave you guys confidence to quit your jobs and start travelling Australia full time? Am I answering this one? Yep. <laughs> uh, so this is not my first time quitting and going travelling. Uh, I'd done it a few years ago, about six, five years ago, six years ago. And I think uh, to build the confidence up, you, I feel like you just got to want to do it and then the confidence come with that situation. Uh, Jacinta wasn't the, uh, wasn't too confident in doing it, but... No, I was more career focused. Yeah, yeah. she was, but that, I told her pretty well before we got together, I said, look, uh, it's a deal break if you don't want to quit, but here we are now and you're loving it, aren't you? Is that right? Oh, I love every minute. Best decision we have made together as so, a couple. I do my best to comfort her and make it a bit easier for her, but now I think we're just rolling well, it's good. Yep. Uh, question number five is, why, why did you want to do a lap of Australia and do you love what you were doing? No. Um, you can answer that one. Why do we want to do a lap of Australia? Why not? Um, yeah, why not? Why not? 100% <laughs> um, why not. It's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we were meant to go overseas. Obviously what happens happen. Uh, Australia was next on my list. Yeah. Uh, so, and it's just as good as traveling overseas, if not better with the currency, language. And it's easy, isn't it's, it? It's easy traveling. It's so easy. Um, and love what we're doing 100 percent i love it it's the best lifestyle it's so good yeah we so wouldn't good. change it for anything mm. question number six how long are you on the road for so we are on the road for roughly two years however you know if we finish our lap three months before or three months after that two years then you know we are complete basically aren't we yes we're happy with that yep either way we want to say as much as possible, especially when we're this age and it just makes things easier to do it now than a little bit older. Mm, yeah. Um, question number seven is what do you struggle with the most? So for me, what I struggle with the most is not seeing my beautiful family and friends, um, especially like family nights or weddings or my nieces and nephews birthdays. They're the hardest days. Um, but we'll be back there within no time and I'll be absolutely making it up to them. Yeah. Uh, me, to that degree, a little bit, yes, but I know what I set out for, I know what I'm there to miss, and that's a big part of it. Um, honestly, what annoys me is the wind when we're trying to do something, and flies. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually pretty good, so not much annoys me. <laughs> <laughs> and me sometimes. Oh, you do a great job, but I can deal with you somehow. <laughs> Okay, question A. It was a question for me. How do you go without showering and all the girly stuff? Look, I used to shower twice, if not three times a day at home. Um, and now, as you know, I only shower twice a week and it is what it is. Like, um, I use lots of baby wipes and I still clean, you know, my feet and everything every day. And yeah, I have adjusted pretty well I think. Very well, I'm very proud of it. Yeah. She's done very well. I don't straighten my hair anymore, you know, as much, but it is what it is. Okay, question nine was for Ethan. Uh, how's the campus set up working and would you change anything given hindsight? Uh, the campus set up with the canopy working absolutely smicky mickey, exactly like I wanted to work, everything just rolls perfect so it's uh, well done on Boss Aluminium's behalf. Um, the car, the Ranger is beautiful, it's a very nice car, the Rangers, they are just very fancy and so I drive beautiful. Um, uh, in hindsight maybe 79 series with its extra uh, carrying weight ability would have been handy but 100% um, happy with the car and what it's doing, working well. Question number 10 is, what's your favorite hike so far? So 
So for me, our favourite hike so far is Mount Bruce in Karajini National Park, the Pilbara. And Ethan? Uh, mine would be St Mary's Peak, yeah. it's beautiful in the Flinders Ranges. Uh, the Lara Pinta, we only done actually three days of start, there's another story to that. Uh, we will be back there again in about five months time. Uh, the first three days of that was magic in my opinion, uh, heading from east to west. Uh, I'm looking forward to get back there and complete that. But yeah, it's so much good hiking, it's unreal. Question 11 was, what's the most random place you have parked up for the night? So that would be the bluff in Victor Harbour, we stayed there for four nights. And also at the back of a food land in their car park, um, Mountain Compass. So pretty random spots, but they've done the job. We weren't meant to be there, but we we're there. You yeah. gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, question number 12. How many litres of barbecue sauce has Ethan gone through? 6.5 litres and still counting pretty <laughs> heavily. <laughs> Question 13. How many pairs of bathers did Jacinta pack? I packed a pair of six bathers, so not too bad. Okay, question 14. What has been the highest of high and the lowest of low for you? Um, the lowest of low for me was when we broke down going into the bungle bungles. Um, I had to hitchhike 800 kilometres to Broome, which means, um, you know, me and Ethan were separated for a couple of days, and that was, you know, that was pretty. Um, yeah, what about you, Ethan? Highest of high? Highest of high is trailing Australia every day, it's just a high. Like, they're obviously not as high as highs every day, but I just find it lovely. I reckon it's awesome. So, that's my high. I'm sorry, it's every day pretty well. Um, the lowest of lows, that was pretty low as well. Yeah. When we broke down the side of the road, it's me baby. Um, yeah, uh, that's one of the lowest of lows. Um, yeah. yeah, my highest of high uh, would be the Top End Safari Camp in Darwin. That was incredible. That was pretty good. Very yeah. good actually. Uh, question 15. How do you handle arguments when you're with each other 24-7? <laughs> I'll answer that one. <laughs> i got to watch what I say here, just in case. Um, best suggestion is to get over them as quick as possible, sort them out as soon as you can, so it doesn't wreck your day or the partner's day. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes she'll turn the music up on me so I can't let out my anger. True story. Uh, um, or we, uh, yeah. Yeah, just got to get over them nice and early, it honestly helps. Mm. And honestly, we don't fight any more now being with each other 24-7 than what we did at home. And it's just like, yeah, we're just at each other sometimes. Yeah, we call it irrelevant bickering. shit. Yeah, really. we're at a park and a free camp. Yeah. Um, the way we're going to do things or where, just little things. But we just try to get them over as quickly as possible. Even mm. the big fights, we haven't had one for a couple of months, but... <laughs> Yeah, we try to get them over as soon as possible. I say sorry. Yeah. She'll some, say sorry sometimes. She probably should more often, but <laughs> I just put me in up, say sorry, and let's get on with the day. I okay. can't wait to show him this, what you're saying right now when we uh, argue next, but anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, question 16 was, what's a must do in WA? We haven't seen all of WA yet, however, Karajini National Park is going to be hard to top, isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. yeah that's the best, so far. More than likely it will be. Question 17. Is there anything you would do differently, Ethan? Uh, broad question. We'll start with maybe the car. Uh, 79 series would have been nicer with its payload than the Ranger, but still happy with dealing with what I've got to deal with. Yeah. Um, with our trip, I wouldn't change anything. If we no. do feel like we need to change it, we're that flexible, we can change it. We have changed it before, but yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, question 18. What's one item you wish you could have bought with you, but maybe you didn't have the space? A vacuum cleaner? Yeah, vacuum cleaner, just so I can clean things. Um, yep. I even though I didn't do any vacuum cleaning at home. No, he definitely didn't. <laughs> but it's just lots of sand and that. Uh, 
I've got my golf club, so that's probably the, my main thing, and I've got it, so, and we yeah. made room, didn't we? <laughs> oh, we, yeah, we definitely made room for them. Um, for me, oh, I'd love a full length mirror, but um, that's all right, the revision mirrors of the side of the car, they do the job for now, don't they? Correct. <laughs> Question 19, have you been affected by the border closures at all? So yes, we have been affected. We were in the three day lockdown in Darwin on August 16th, which was Ethan's 30th. Um, so we were affected then. And then coming across the border from Northern Territory into WA, we had to um, self isolate in Kununurra. But other than that, smooth sailing. Fingers crossed it keeps being smooth as that. Yeah. Deal with it. <laughs> Question 20. Is there anything you have enjoyed that you didn't think you would? Or has there been anything that you have enjoyed that you didn't think you would? You can answer that one. Um, Kangaroo Island would probably be the only one that I can think of that we didn't enjoy it. And it wasn't um, because of the beautiful, you know, the beauty of it or anything like that. It was because we were there and it was really cold so we went at the wrong time of the year and and couldn't lap up the beautiful beaches that they had correct uh, yeah i 100 agree it's beautiful place it's just shit timing and we didn't have a good time but that's the only thing and i try not to go to a spot with huge expectations yeah because that can wreck the actual experience so i like to be a bit open-minded yeah um, but i have left places and oh, i didn't think it'd be like that but i never expected it to be something big so that's my best hit with that just don't expect it to be huge or don't have any expectations yeah um question 21 is what has been your scariest moment so for me the scariest moment was when we were in the simpson desert and i looked down at our map and i seen that we were literally in the middle of nowhere um, at Popple's Corner. So that is the corner of South Australia, Queensland and Northern Territory. And I just remember thinking if anything happens to us out here, nobody will find us. So that's been the scariest moment so far for me. But I want to do that again. So we're in a bit of an argument between now and the time we get back up to that area. So we'll see how we go. Who's going to win, do you think? <laughs> Uh, my scariest part was when we were uh, going through the border check at Kununurra and my engine light come on. It was only an amber one so it means minor but it's my baby and it's mine and it was a little bit scary and there's just too much going on. That's my scariest part. It's probably something a little bit pussy like but yeah, it's my scariest part to answer that question. Yeah. Uh, question 22. Which town makes the best coffee? That would be elementary uh, Brighton Adelaide. Thanks Hagen for taking us there and yeah. pa paying. <laughs> yeah, thanks brother. <laughs> uh, and the last question, question 23. What would you say to someone who has never been out of their hometown? What do you reckon? There's no place like home. Well, there's other places than home. That is my motto that I made up when I started traveling the first time, it just explains that there is so much out there. So much. And it's just crazy. Um, and yeah, just get out of your little comfort zone, you can call it, or out of your home. And there is no place like home. Everyone loves home, and so they should. Yeah. But there's just so much out there, and it's just amazing, especially your own country if you're listening yeah. from Australia. It's so beautiful, and it just keeps on giving, we think anyway. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yep. Thank you for the questions, they uh, were good ones, enjoyed yeah. answering them. Yeah, and if you have any other questions, then don't hesitate to you know, write to us, we love helping people out. We're pretty open with that stuff, so just ask. Yeah, <laughs> so that's six months on the road, thank you so much, and yeah, we'll see you again next time. Bye. Bye.